out here in San Mateo, just a few minutes south of Manta, you might be able to even see, oh, I can't zoom, I'm going to turn it around and zoom in a minute, you might be able to see Manta back that other way, see how beautiful the ocean is, you really get, start to get some of those turquoise tones here, gorgeous day just outside of Manta, we're on six hectares here, it's flat, it goes all the way back, that a uh, friend of mine, Dennis, owns, we're going to interview him in a few minutes on the channel, uh, he's a builder in the area, developer, builder, farmer, a bunch of cool stuff. Yep. <laughs> um, anyhow, he's got a beautiful plan for a development out here. It's, it's in a prime spot because this side of the city is really the high-end side of the city. There's not a lot of commercial stuff going on out here. Interesting area to develop. Um, we're just a few minutes from Monta, just outside the city, right off the main highway. Perhaps you can see down there. And uh, some really interesting returns on a project like this. If this is, if you're a developer, or I should say an investor, and you're interested in stuff like this, be uh, happy to talk with you about it, put you in touch with Dennis. It's really, a, I think, a prime spot for commercial residential development, which is Dennis's plan. About six hectares of land, so it's about uh, 15 acres approximately. Prime prime real estate just outside the city. And uh, Dennis is very well connected here, so you have all the, all the local contacts that you need to be successful <laughs> to do business in Ecuador. So now we're up here on the high side of this six hectare piece of land. The views are not too shabby. The whole thing is flat other than just this little piece here at the edge. Okay, and this, with it flipped around, now I can zoom a little bit. That's Monta that you're looking at there, the outskirts of Monta. Again, on the south side of the city. Which is definitely the nice side. Mont is a cool city. It's uh, it's lively. It's similar population to Loja, but a lot more going on in Monta than in Loja for sure. Many more good restaurants. A lot more economic activity. Definitely just a lot more going on. The, the area of Monta has a much larger population. The city itself is about the same. You can see the water is looking pretty turquoise today. I don't know how well the camera's picking that up. This is one of the most popular beaches here in Manta. There you can see they have all those tents set up for the weekend. Apparently it's a big scene on the weekend. Manta has a lot of fishing. It's a little fishing fleet there you see. The tuna industry in Ecuador is in Manta. Delicious food here. <laughs> 